Hi everyone, this is the fourth video teaching you how to draw a house in AutoCAD. So we're going to do a few things today. I've got, um, last video was layers and dimension styles and stuff like that. I'm going to teach you how to, first of all, draw a basement. <clears throat> an easier way to do it, an easy way to do it, and then teach you a little bit about text and uh, a couple other things that might get you on your way. So um, whenever I draw a floor plan, I always draw, I, I, I don't like to redraw things. I like to use what's existing and, and um, use that to create the next plan. You could just redraw this floor for the basement, but I, I prefer not to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off some of my layers and turn off my dimensions. I don't need that. I'm actually going to do that a bit. I'm going to go into the layer properties and do this. I just clicked on this button right here, layer properties. I'm going to turn off my doors and windows, fixture millwork, hidden, everything except for the zero layer. I think I think I still have a lot of stuff on the zero layer. It should be on the wall layer, but I haven't moved it over yet. I'm left with these walls. So I'm just going to copy this. What I'm going to do is going to um, take my main floor to make my basement. I'm going to go back up to layer properties up here and turn those, those uh, layers back on. And then when I copied that down, it just it didn't copy the stuff that it was only it only copied what was visible. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna erase a lot of this information. A lot of it will be redundant or uh, not redundant, um, useless, I guess. I'm gonna erase a bunch of these lines. All I, all I want at the end of the day is the outside of exterior walls. I think I missed all those. That's okay. There we go. Uh, I needed one there. Oops. I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna erase uh, that. There we go. Erase all this stuff and erase that. And there, I'm going to erase one of these here too. So now I'm going to, uh, before I used to sort of extend and trim a bunch of stuff, I'm going to teach a new command called fillet. So fillet is right here. I'm going to hit fillet and what it does is it'll take one line and connect it to another. And if, uh, I'll show you a way to do it a little bit different later. I'm going to fillet these, these ones here too. Uh, right now I'm doing it so it comes to a 90 degree angle. You can also do it so it's rounded. Actually, these are rounded because I, I did something different. So I'm just going to erase that. And I'm going to fillet it again. I'm going to hit F for fillet. I have options down here at the bottom. One of them is radius. I'm going to take my radius and make it zero. Now when I fillet this, it'll come to a point like that. This one here must have been rounded as well. I'm just going to erase that. And fill it again. Now my radius is set for zero. I had it set for two there, which I'll do later on. Uh, when I'm offsetting this now, if I offset all these walls like we did before, um, <clears throat> I have to offset them all individually, then trim a bunch of stuff or fill it a bunch of stuff. What I want to do is I want to join these walls. So if I type in join or just hit J, I can join all these walls together. See if this works. Then I go select it. For some reason, it doesn't always select all the walls. So I'm just going to do it again. Join. I'm going to join all these and see if it worked. It did. So now all these walls are joined. I just hit J, selected all the walls, and I joined them. Now when I offset this, I'm going to offset it inward. So my foundation wall in my basement is 8 inches thick. So I'm going to offset 8 inches. Pull it in this direction. And I'm also going to have a 2x4 uh, insulation wall on the inside of this. So what I have there between the concrete and the actual wood is a half inch gap. So I'm going to put a half inch gap in there. And then I'm going to offset this 3.5 inches, which is the size of a 2x4. So there, I've got my foundation wall. I've got a small gap between the two, just so that the wood doesn't touch the concrete. And then I've got my 2x4 wall, which is 3.5 inches. That's great. I also need a footing below this, and since it's an 8 inch concrete foundation wall, the footing sits directly below in the center of that footing. It's a 24 inch footing. So if I have 8 inches in the middle, that means I'll have 8 inches on either side of this concrete wall as well. So I'm going to offset, uh, I'm going to offset 8 inches. I'm going to offset that line here, and I'm going to offset this line. That's the edge of my foundation wall. Offset 8 inches that way. Um, a uh, footing is actually below. Great, and I've already made a hidden a hidden layer. So now I'm just going to match the properties. Go up there and match the props of that hidden layer to that footing. Now I've got my footing below. So that's a really quick and dirty way to do a basement. This is an eight inch foundation wall with the insulation wall on the inside. Uh, I can teach you a couple more things too. I've got some text up here. So uh, to, to type this text, I'm going to use the text command, which is multi-line text. It creates multi-line text. So I'm going to select the text then make a box. My box is about that large. The first time I make it, I'm going to call this my living room, or just living. And I want to see what size that text is. I know what scale I'm plotting at, and a, a nice size for me I know is going to be 5 inches. So what I did, I'm going to sneeze here. Give me a second. 
you missed all that, but excuse me. Um, I'm going to select my text again. So I select it once. And when I click on it once, I get this these arrows, which is essentially my text box. And this is how big that box is. If I click on it twice, I can actually get inside it and start uh, moving the text around, doing things with the text. So what I've done is I've clicked it twice. I go in and select the text. And now I'm going to make my text five inches high. And I have to hit enter. I also want it middle centered. So while the text is still highlighted, I can go select middle center. And now I know I'm justified middle center. Now when I click on this, this grip box, this blue grip, is actually in the middle of the text. Whenever I move this text around, I can just move it by that grip. When I'm putting my text in my rooms, I like to put it in the center of the room. So I'll draw a line from corner to corner, select this text, grab the grip, that's middle center, put it in the midpoint of that line. Um, how do I get a midpoint? I changed my O snaps. I did this a couple of videos ago. But I needed O snap, and I like endpoint, midpoint, sometimes center, and then intersection. And that's how I set up my, my O snap. Just type that command in. So there's how you do your text. Now when I copy this text, I'll just copy it over here. I'm not going to, I don't like, like I said, I don't like redoing things. I like copying it, so I'm just going to make a line in here. Got a bifold door in the middle of my room, which I'll erase. Don't need it. Now I'm going to select this text. Snap it into there, and then double click on it. Bedroom 1 or bedroom two or whatever it is. Uh, right now these are all in the text called hidden, so I'm using my match properties command again because uh, this is this one here. It's actually in the text dimensions. I really don't care. I move all my stuff around later, but uh, if you make a layer called text, let's make one. There's layer properties. Click on this box to make a new layer. Call it 005 text. More in all caps, one bit anal, txt. There we go. Change it to red. Red's a good color, nice and thin. And then I'm going to make that active. Click on that box right here. That didn't do it. Um, I forget how to make it active. We'll do it later. I'll just go up here. Go on that text layer. 005 text. Now I'm out in my text layer is active. And uh, I'm just going to draw a line. And then match the properties. All the properties from this object will now go to that object. And that object. Of course, all these objects. Now they're all in the layer text. Um, that's how you can make text and center them in rooms. Um, I'm going to make a tub here. Uh, tubs, standard tubs are always 30 inches wide, 2 foot 6. I'm going to make a tub in this bathroom. I'm going to offset this thing here 30 inches. And then whenever I actually make, that's just the edge of the tub. Whenever I make the actual place where the water goes in, I'm going to offset that 2 inches. And it's just drawing a picture. I don't know if that's completely accurate, but they aren't building the tub on site, so I really don't care. And then I'm going to fill it these corners, so I hit F to fill it. Then the bottom it says, um, What's the radius you want? Here, ask me a couple of questions. I'm going to hit R for radius and change it to 2. So I just changed, I hit R. I hit 2 to make the radius 2. And now that should be active. So when I fill it that, it gives me a nice curved corner like I have before. If I right click, it'll repeat the fillet. Right click again. Repeat that fillet. There we go. I've got a nice tub in there. I'm going to put that on a layer called Fixtures Millwork. Those are all in the DIMS layer. I don't want that, so I'll start cleaning things up a little bit. I'm just going to match that property. Just draw a line with the Fixtures Millwork. I'm trying to erase that. Great. Um, here's something else I've done. Uh, so I did tell you about text, tell you how to start to draw the basement. You fill us, fill it in the radius. Uh, the last one I'll teach is explodes. Right now, all these lines are still continuous lines. I don't want them to be continuous anymore. I'm going to want to break them down into individual lines so I can just hit um, explode, type explode. Where's the box for explode? Looks like an exploding box right there. That's the explode box right below the erase one. If I want to explode this, select all those lines, and now it just turns them all into individual lines instead of them all being connected. That's about all I want to teach today. That's everything I went through last class. Uh, if you're online, hopefully this is helpful to you. If you're in my class, hopefully it's even more or equally as helpful. Peace out.